Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our IPM series, today we are going to see that how we can use the server arguments of the IPM server while we are running the IPM server in the programmatically, so from your code. So normally what do we do? We open our terminal and then we uh, enter the IPM to run the IPM server before running any test cases, whether it is Android or iOS, right? Now, while we are running this IPM, we are giving certain, what do you call, the server arguments. For an instance, let's say that I'm using any kind of uh, plugins, the IPM gesture plugin, let's say that. So let me show you that now, if you want to use this IPM gesture plugin, which we have already discussed, you don't need to simply run the IPM, but rather you have to send this command. So IPM use gesture, uh, use plugins equal to gestures. Now, how do we set up this one while we are running from the command actually from this particular code? Okay, because we don't want to really run it. Let's say that you are running into a CI CD pipeline. So you don't need to explicitly run into your command, right? Rather, you need to control that from your code actually. So if you see here, there is an option. Now I will just go here and I will say that with and here you can see that with argument one method is coming and now this method will have set in key and value pair now when you say general server flag and then you put dot you see that there are a lot of different options are coming okay you can see that use plugins here you can see there is a use plugins option is coming so this is your key and then the value the value actually you can get it from here so nothing but the name of that particular plugin that you want to take it so you can just put it as a string and that's it now you can run your code so that you don't need to explicitly run with appium and then use plugins and all those things plugins equal to gestures you don't need to do this actually you can simply avoid the terminal running and you can use this command now let's give it a try if it is working fine or not. Now to test this, I will be using the Android drag and drop feature actually, which we have already discussed. Now I have all the details here. You can see that I'm using a sample web driver IO sample application. And then here I'm identifying the source and destination. And here you can see that uh, I'm using the gesture plugins uh, method actually to do the drag and drop from source to destination. Now let me run that. Now the simulator I'm using is 12.0 and I have this simulator and you can see that the web driver IO sample application is here and you can do a drag and drop here. Now I will just make it as 12.0 that is my simulator version and now let me run this test. Now before running this I need to run the server right. So what I can do instead of running from the uh, command line what I can do I can run this appium server I can utilize appium server dot and here you can see that there is a start method now this start method will have all the concept of running this appium server okay so it is getting the path of the main.js node and then the plugin that I need to use it so now let's give it a try and before doing that I will also make sure that the IPM server should be stop at the end. Okay, fine then. So now let's run this test. Okay, so as you can see that there is a error actually it is coming where it is telling that it's not able to load this particular class actually. Now when I looked into the online actually, I got to know this is an issue somebody reported into the IPM channel or into the issue section of the GitHub and then they are recommending that you need to use the 8.5.0 actually so now let's do one thing go to the pom.xml and here i have 8.3.0 right so far now i'll just go for this 8 point i think 8.5.1 is also available here so i will go with that version and i will click on this to load this particular dependency into this project okay seems like everything is now good and now let me rerun the same test again run and then open the simulator side by side okay so now another error it is coming by saying that the main appium script does not exist into this location actually 
so uh, i have updated my rpm server also from the beta to 2.0 right so it seems like now this location is no longer exist now let's see where exactly this is exist so for this first i will go to the terminal and i will say that which rpm and then it gives me this particular location you can see that so let me just come till this one copy it open this spotlight and open it here and here you can see that actually i'm using the node version manager actually here so after that you need to go to this library and after that node modules appium build and here library and after that you should be getting the main.js let's see that yeah here you can see that the main.js so it means that now i will be copying this path so to copy this path in mac what you need to do click on right click and then i will show you here so right click and then click on option option key actually on your mobile on your laptop and then here you can see that one option is coming copy main js as path name and then that i need to paste it here actually so i need to change the path of the main.js so for that i will be coming here and i will say with appium js and inside this i will be putting this now this particular line i can comment it now let's see what is the problem actually here so i need to take it as a new file and here i need to go for this okay now that should be fine now let's see that if this particular code is working fine or not so driver executable now it is uh, what it is saying it should be present in the user local bin node and this is also a problem if you see that the uh, i will show you here actually so this path is also got changed i guess so let me see that user local bin right now let's try to see that if it is present or not so i will copy this one this is basically the node one actually now here you can see that is also not available now and you can see that user local there is uh, if i go here local you can see that there is nothing so probably this is also inside the nvm only and here you can see dot nvm versions node and then after that version 18.16.0 which i am using then go to the bin and then here you can see that the node and then right click again click on the option key and then copy node as path name and here let's comment this one and after that i will say using driver executable that is nothing but your the uh, the node executable actually here and under this you need to specify this file that's it okay so that is how you can even debug it if you have any issues with that so you can just go with which which node and then it should give you the path so if you are not using the nvm as your node package manager handling probably this path will be different for you okay fine so hopefully everything is set it up here now let's run this particular test actually here let's come back here and then run this and now you can see that the appium server is running with that particular gesture plugin actually and it should now drag perfect so that's how you need to deal with it and after it is done it should stop the appium server and the code as well or the app as well let's see what is the error it thrown actually here so this is probably the appium server is stopped and after that i'm doing the quit probably that's why now let's do one thing actually now i will control x and after this i will be doing after closing the app i will be stopping my appium server and let's see that if it is working fine or not yes and it should now stop the appium server yep perfect now you can see that there is no issue and then the test cases also got passed and here you can see the appium server i have taken that gesture plugin as part of my general server flag and also what you can do you can put a condition if you are using the gesture plugin or any kind of plugins then you keep on adding those arguments here 
if it is not required you can simply comment or you can put some if else conditions to use these arguments inside this so that's how you can deal with it now let's see another way actually so this is plugins right but if you remember in terms of a chrome browser testing while we were doing if you remember we have done something here appium space and then allow insecure chrome driver auto download now this is where actually if you because chrome need a chrome driver to download right but sometimes we don't know what kind of chrome browser is installed or the version of the chrome browser and that respective driver we are not able to download it now to make it understand for the appium to just go directly fetch the version of the browser and download the specified version of the chrome driver now for that we used to use this actually if you remember our uh, mobile chrome automation we used to do like this actually come back here and we used to run this particular command right now this also we can automate it by using the appium server let me show you that so remove this semicolon and here with argument and then the same thing general server flag put a dot and here you can see that allow insecure you can see here and then comma and you have to put chrome driver auto download just copy this string and put it here and put a semicolon and now at this moment i don't need this gesture plugin so i can just comment it and i will be just using this allow insecure now what will happen if i i have a new version of the chrome installed into this chrome uh, new version of the chrome installed on this device right appium will be auto downloading the specific version of the chrome driver i don't need to maintain that like if you see that i didn't put any specific code to download the chrome driver actually there now let's try to see that if this is working fine or not and again for this i will be running the appium server dot start dot start and after that after closing this application i need to stop it so appium server dot stop now let's see that if it is working fine or not and i don't want to run this particular code or command into the terminal so let me close it and let this simulator be turned on and here you can see that it is 13 right and if you remember actually for 13 actually there was an issue with the chrome browser handling so we were using the 12 version actually now when we are taking the 12 version i don't need to use all these things so i will comment it now if you are not sure what i am doing you can watch my chrome mobile chrome browser testing with the uh, appium you will understand that all these concepts and now i am just making all these things as commented because i no longer required if i am using the android 12 and i believe everything is fine now let's run this test and open the simulator side by side it should open the chrome browser and you can see that this is the ipm logs it is now printing here and you can see the this is loading and the email is also entered and app got closed and it should stop the appium server and you can see that it said that appium server stopped this particular statement is coming from the appium server only while we are stopping here you can see that just to make sure that it is completely stopped so that's how you can do it so instead of running that from the, from the command line or terminal you can use that now it's not just limited to use plugins and allow insecure right there are a lot of options like if you see that just put a dot and you will see all the available what do you call commands that are there which you were wanted to use into your what do you call uh, terminal the same logics you can use it here also okay so and base path even we have seen this base path also if you remember that anybody if anybody is using less than appium 2.0 they need to use wd hub for us it is not required so that also you can specify as an argument okay so let me just change it to allow insecure back to the original and if you don't need you can simply comment it so that's how all the server flags or server arguments you can use it into your appium server and then run it whenever uh, you need or before your test case is running actually there we will be seeing some more interesting topics like this in future so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग